The agenda the regular board meeting, uh, President and Trustees, Village of Brown, Cook County, Illinois, today is July 25th, 2023. At this time, I would ask for the Trustee Garcia. Yes. Trustee Here. Trustee Hodges. Here. Trustee Garcia. Here. Trustee Greer. Here. Trustee Richardson. Here. And Trustee Pembroke. Here. Thank you. We have a strong vote. So we stand for the pledge of allegiance. So you lead the trustee quick. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Beginning <coughs> approval of corrections of the minutes of the board meeting that was held on July 11th, 2020. Any corrections to the minutes? I only have a motion to approve the minutes. Okay, there are no corrections from Trustee Catholic Spain. Motion to approve the minutes for 2011. Do we have a second? I second. Second by Trustee Green. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hopkins? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Capers? Yes. Motion to pass the minutes approved for July 11, 2023. Uh, what we open the meeting to the public. Uh, you will state your name and your reason for addressing the board. Please come to comments to three minutes, please, if you have anything to say. So at this time, I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. I make a motion to open the meeting to the public. I will also go by Trustee Kringle. Can we have a second? I'll second. Second by Trustee Hodge. We have a quick call roll. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Kramer? Yes. Uh, thank you. Motion passed. So, uh, the open session is now. Anybody has anything to say? Okay. No comment? Okay. okay. I'll ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I make a motion to close the meeting to the public. It has a motion on floor by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. Can we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Hodges. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Capers? Yes. Okay, thank you, Motion Pat. Meeting is not closed to the public. Um, I wanted to say that. Uh, uh, we received news today that Trustee Kuhlman, a widow in hospital, so the family can just pray for her and uh, her family. And, uh, keep on lifted up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was saying that one of our trustees from some years ago against a widow in the hospital, and uh, it was important today, so she's not doing well at the hospital. Uh, we're also um, <coughs> working on uh, trying to get some additional sidewalks done this year. It looks like some of the contractors are pretty busy and uh, they, have, uh, um, they haven't gotten back to us yet. So, Diane, you already covered your choice. Okay, that's all I have. So, oh, and the Secretary of State was here on. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, I mean, the 29th of June, we had um, 49 people that were serviced. Everything cut out, so 19 speakers, uh, I mean, 21 driver license, uh, uh, 21 IDs, and uh, two CDLs, and just uh, almost 50 people that were right here in the village of Burnham, so we offered their service. and, and uh, that was a program that I found out about when I was trustee. It started back in 2002, somewhere there about. So it's been going on uh, for 20 plus years. It's, and we usually try to bring them out twice a year, so it's a convenience uh, thing for the residents of Brown. Uh, okay, the clerk is not here this evening. Let's go clerk report. Uh, 
of Public Education and Health, Safety, and Welfare out of Trustee Lynch. Good evening, community family. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of, consideration of, and taking action to approve on a Casinos Giotis becoming a full time village of Burnham Police Officer. Okay, is there any uh, discussion on the phone? Do we know him? Has he been here? Is he? Yeah, he's the owner. <coughs> but there's a part time officer? Or? Yes. I'll explain that one to me. So, your question. Um, yeah, so. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to uh, take an action to approve on Constantino G GDO becoming the board time village of Vernon Police Officer. Okay, any questions from the board? This will be retroactive back to uh, <coughs> People need to have to go out and have to get the exact case, but it's not really important. Um, any questions from the board? No, uh, yeah. How long have you been uh, with the <coughs> How long have you been with Burns? Um, I don't know exactly, but probably a couple of years. Do, do we call him something else? Um, is that Dino? Dino. Okay, um, yeah, I know Dino. Dino. Okay, you should have told us that. He didn't want to go to training. I mean, or you should have put in the uh, yeah. notes his nickname. Now we would know what it is. Yeah, right? He's a big guy. He's tall. He didn't say leave him alone, huh? All right, put the motion. Oh, I said that. He's a big guy. Tracy Cap. Yes. Trustee Hatches. Yes. Trustee Garcia. Yes. Mr. Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Cranbrook? Yes. And we have been kind of short of police officers, so we just have to make sure we uh, keep up the yes. uh, status. We have two of the officers injured right now, and mm -hmm. it looks like one of them hopefully be coming back, and the other one is out of And uh, we have a uh, police officer that is injured uh, on the job and cannot return back to work. Do you or someone you know need your high school equivalency or your GED South Suburban College offers free classes? For more information, you can call 708 596 2000. Free EESL classes is available at South Suburban College. In case you don't know what ESL stands for, it stands for English Second Language. And the students will learn how to improve their English with emphasis on writing, verbal, and digital communication. Our CPR classes have been canceled. It was supposed to be this Saturday, but the classes have been canceled until August the 9th. That's on a Wednesday at 6 p.m. at our firehouse. Classes have been canceled until August the 9th, Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the firehouse. <coughs> Access to care is a charity care. It's not a health insurance but it fills the gap for uninsured benefits through access to care. So again, it, it, it's not a health insurance, but it's helped those who does, do not have health insurance. You can get benefits through this company. It's called Access to Care, and they're located uh, on Roosevelt Road. And they do doctor visits, cost $5 for prescriptions, uh, and uh, it varies, and then you can get lab tests and x-rays for five dollars. So for more information, you can call Access to Care. Again, they're located on Roosevelt Road. You can just call them. They will give you more information and help you assist you with anything that you know. 708-531-0680. School Supplies Distribution. 
going to be two days. August the 1st, August, I'm sorry, August the 4th, <coughs> from 4 to 7 p.m. and August the 5th, that's on a Saturday, from 10 to 2. You must be a burner register to receive supplies. And we have other um, things going on. The COVID clinic is going to be there. We're going to have someone doing blood pressure. So again, that will be August the 4th, 4 to 7 p.m. and August the 5th, 10 to 2. National Night Out, August the 1st, from 5 to 8 p.m. It's a community building event that promotes community partnership. So uh, again, National Night Out is August the 1st, start from 5 to 8 p.m. Community Day, just a reminder, it's August the 19th, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Vendors are needed. Because our weather uh, is so changeable, all over the world we have floods, we have rains, we have fires. So I have some questions and answers concerning tornadoes. We just never know what's going to happen. We can never say never because we do not know what's going to happen from day to day. The question, what are three signs of a tornado coming? The color of the sky may change to a dark greenish color, and I've seen that happen before. You may hear a large roar sound, similar to a freight train. I know you've heard many people say that. And then, just before the tornado hits, it's a very quiet sound. So those are three of the signs. So what was the second sound? A large roar, like a, a freight train. I'm sure you've heard people say that. Question. What does a tornado warning mean? A, a, a tornado warning means a tornado has been spotted or there's a strong indication on radar that a tornado is in progress. So if you hear tornado warning, it's best to take cover. Question, how long does a, a tornado last? A tornado, a tornado can last from seven seconds to one hour. What happens if a tornado picks you up? And if you heard on the news, I think it was last week there was a tornado. There were two children who got taken who got taken uh, up with the tornado. A little girl and a little boy. I think they found one of the children, but they haven't found the other one yet. Mm -hmm. So if you're picked up by a tornado, the chances of survival are sadly slim. Okay. Because not only do you have that when you got all kind of other dervish that's going around. So, what is the best place to go during a tornado? Although there's no completely safe place during a tornado, some, lo some locations are safer than others. So you go to the basement <coughs> or you go to an inside room where there's no window. If possible, Avoid any room that has windows. Why is the bathroom the safest place to go in a tornado? It's because of the plumbing. The plumbing are within the walls. It helps to add some structure strength to the room. So you all often hear people say, tornado, go to the bathroom. And that is why. What kills in a what kills in a tornado? What kills people in a tornado? It's the flying dermis. That they're picking up. When do our tornadoes mostly occur? They mostly occur in the April, May, and June. Again, this weather is so unpredictable. We never know. So just always be um, wise to always be on our toes. Pay attention to our warning signs. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully, we won't have to use it. Absolutely. I know that's right. <laughs> uh, public Works, uh, Trustee Clayton. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, public Works has been out cleaning and uh, maintain maintaining the open lots, keeping our village clean. Also, the uh, bucket truck is in a shop. It needs a cylinder at this time. Uh, should be out soon. Also, tree trimming uh, will be starting throughout the village uh, pretty soon also. And I'm, I've been getting a lot of, uh, well, everybody has up here been getting a lot of complaints about skunks and wildlife. Excuse me, what did you say about the tree trimming? 
it, it's, it's, it will be starting soon throughout the village. Mm -hmm. It may not be able to get every tree, uh, like when we start the sidewalk, we may not be able to get every one, but like they said in the newsletter, that we'll come back for the next year. Okay. Also, we've been getting a lot of complaints about nuisance, wildlife, uh, skunks, raccoons, and possums, and stuff like that. And um, it's, here's a few products that's pretty good. It's called, uh, one is called Skunk Scram. It's so all natural. It's good for gardens, uh, your grass. Good for gardens, your grass. Uh, it's not harmful to pets and stuff like that. That's basically for skunks. This is another one called Critter Ritter. And um, it's labeled for raccoons, skunks, squirrels, uh, possums, and things like that. And um, this one is about 40 bucks, but mm. it lasts a long time. And it, I mean, it doesn't kill the animal, but it detours them from your property. And also, this one does the same thing. And, um, oh, you get that? You, Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards. No. Both of these. These kind of the two best. Oh, I'm sorry. Behind the hearts. Take a picture with your bone. Yes. And you just put it around your you just Yeah, the granules, you just sprinkle it around the garbage cans, uh, garden, grass, and things like that. And um, I got, oh, it's a letter from uh, Homewood Disposal. It's dated July 7, 2023. Uh, it says, Dear Mayor Pope, please accept this letter as official notice of Homewood Disposal Service, Inc., not agreeing to allow the contract to automatically renew pursuant to section three of the amendment entered January 14th, 2014. The agreement allows an automatic renewal for like terms unless written notice is submitted by either the village or the contractor with 180 days notice, which is August 28, 2023, prior to the expiration date of January 31st, 2024. Um, over the past two years, the solid waste collection industry has seen unprecedented increases in inflation. These increases have directly impacted all truck equipment and final disposal costs at area landfills. These increased costs, in addition to a new Teamster labor agreement this fall, requires homeward disposal and the village of Burnham to review the residential collection agreement. The intention is to negotiate a fair and equitable agreement, which will continue the quality collections the village is currently receiving. The goal is to negotiate a cost to collect that is lower than neighboring communities, which have recently bid their collection agreements. Home Disposal is proud of the service we have provided for the village of Burnham and are confident we will negotiate a renewal that is equitable for for both the village and home disposal. Signed respectfully, Frank Hillenhouse. So again, thank you, Trustee. Um, so we've been with Homewood, I think, ever since 2014. And so uh, also of the, the pandemic and all this other stuff and more people uh, are producing a lot of extra garbage and uh, uh, the fact that uh, they have to negotiate their union contract, uh, as he said. And, uh, so, and so the bottom line is that the garbage bill is going to be increasing a little bit. So, so when the people see it, so it's not the water bill that went up. It's not the water bill, it's going to be the revenue bill. So it will be going up a little bit. Right now, it's on the average of $5 a week. And if you really look at the amount of garbage that, that is out there, I mean, I would pick it up $20 a week. Right. Not good. So, um, so that is not unreasonable. You know, so you know, try to keep it as reasonable as possible. Let me know if you want help with the negotiation because I have some contacts with the public and they would really like to bid on our garbage collection. So we might get a good deal from them. And, the, and they, they uh, settled the Teamsters strike today and they raised their hourly rate $7.50, by the way. That was on the news today. Uh, one more thing. 
A skunk got in my backyard and my dog uh, killed it. Oh, oh. thank God. Did he spray it? No, it was an adolescent. Oh, so it was baby. like it was a baby, oh, so it didn't. Uh, Shame on you. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go help the house behind me. I try to keep the bushes and stuff yeah, clear because when I'm out there, yeah, I have seen. I, you know what? I'm gonna tell y'all just like this. I go in the yard behind me. <laughs> I'm telling you because I be out there cutting grass, <laughs> and I go in there and I cut the bushes, but I can see because I don't want nobody to <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm serious. I do go in that yard and I cut down everything so I can see. Things. And I seen two of them myself. They was coming this way towards me, and before I knew it, they had got in this yard, and I didn't see it. I said, "Okay, I know what to do." So I did what I had to do. Got my my yard work. Well, we are certainly uh, moving. You know, trying to make sure that people cut down the overgrowth and tall trees and bushes. Some of them are growing up in the utility wires and in the economy of wires. And so one of these fell on somebody else's property and did some damage. And I don't know where that's going to go, but it's going to be a problem. You know, that wire is still there on 138th on the sidewalk. It's like in a really dangerous. Um, is it in the alley? No, it's, in, it's on the sidewalk. You know that house where Big... And so it's toward the railroad track from your house? No, it's in front of Big Jack's house. Oh. Right? So someone okay. took, they took the wire and they curled it around, um, they tied it around the fence. But it's just there. So like if a kid is riding their bike and they don't see it, it you know, mm -hmm. you know, it's like right at their neck level and, you know, that their wire needs to be either cut or something or other but it is dangerous the way it's sitting, it's sitting there okay <coughs> Yeah, we'll follow. You did mention that before. So we can have it as a public works cut it, or I can cut it, or Travis can go cut it. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think it's a lot of wire. It's just the cable wire. It's a cable wire. Yeah. And yeah. you just pull it down, jerk it off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. I have three things. Uh, what qualifies your tree from being on the list for your tree to be trimmed? Um, hanging over wires. Um, stuff like that, or uh, Speak up. hanging over wires, or stuff like that, or uh, uh, on the parkway, the parkway, uh, hanging in the streets, or on the walls, or things like that. Okay. Um, I just, I think that Homewood has done a wonderful job, and I'm very satisfied with them. I think they do an excellent job. Right. And number three, um, my one of my granddaughters is over. With, and she said, she was, look at this, look at the kitty cat outside the window. Yeah. And I looked with a big skunk, and he was so fat, oh. he was wild. Right <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, so you're lucky that see. your dog didn't get sprayed. Yes. Like, my dog got sprayed, yeah. and yeah. it is horrendous, horrendous. It takes months yeah. to get rid of that smell. Wow. Nothing Ooh, works. Yeah, I, don't, I don't care what they tell you, nothing out. works. Just have to let it run its course. Yeah. Yeah. And everything smells like, you know, everything, everything you, you wear, I don't care if it's in the basement, if it's a, yeah. Do they have something working? No, nothing works. What about that poof stuff that you guys have to have? All the resolution plan, Trustee Garcia. It's closed. No, not now. It wouldn't be closed. Um, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion on consideration of the taking action to approve or not approve ordinance number 2023-0-004 and ordinance making appropriations for all corporate purposes for the fiscal year beginning May 1st, 2023 and ending April 30, 2024 for the village of Vernon. So that's important for the board to receive that. Trustee Garcia is making a motion to approve this 
Discussion on consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve on ordinance number 2023-0005, an ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, and members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Verna. Um, so make, a motion. make a motion to approve ordinance number 2023-0005, an ordinance establishing the salaries of elected officials, appointed officials, local liquor control commissioner, members of the police department, members of the fire department, and other employees of the village of Burnham. So there's a motion on the floor by Trustee Gasset. You made a motion to approve the salary of the of the plans employees. So can we have a second, please? Second. Second by Trustee Clay, will be comfortable. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clay Brooks? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Cap. Do you have anything else to say? No. Thank you, Trustee Garcia, for the report and speaking to um, Good evening, everyone. And I have nothing under finance. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I have nothing also, but I just want to say for all of you residents to please try to stay in where it's cool and stay hydrated. It's going to have some hot days for the next few days. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Trustee Park and Recreation. Trustee Hodges. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, real quick, uh, I'm going to you guys know I'm planning the upcoming basketball tournament and soccer tournament. If you're going to be part of that committee or you have any suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'll have more information about those coming up uh, soon. Also, uh, I want to remind you, yes, we did the basketball hoop back at Burnham Park again, so we're going to play basketball over there. We can. Also, um, they're doing some upcoming flag football at Memorial Park, um, flag football camp. They're going to be doing that from August 5th to August 12th at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, um, $75 per person. It's going to be over there at Memorial Park, which is over there where I have uh, the open gyms at. And I'm currently working with them to come up with another uh, plan for Burnham. Again, I'm going to do it there, like open uh, house, what's it called there. Also, um, I want to talk about, uh, I'm gonna, I have one more thing I want to cover. I'll be at a park on 100, the Kitty Park on 139th near Hotsi. We Since we had to store some of the trees came down over there, so I went over there and I cleared all the trees on the other side of the fence so the kids can play. But uh, um, the director of the Sky Memorial Park, she's working to get those branches removed over there. But they should be out the way of the kids playing over there, over there, you know, the Park. So we're working hard over there to get that done. Um, and, and again, I talked to the people that come in my Park District. They're working, they're still working hard to see if we get some, we place those swings over there. So we work hard on that. And uh, and I want to congratulate Trustee Greer on a great garage sale. That was a really great day. I'm looking forward to that thing because a lot of people got there. We had lots of fun. And I definitely empty out my pockets because there was so much good, good stuff. So I want to be congratulations on that. Great job, trust me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every, all the trustees, everybody was participating. It was just, it was really hard because I was so tired. Uh, the team was like walking around. I was like, wow. So I want to thank you for that. It was a great day. Um, and that's what I have. That's pretty much what I have left today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Then the communications, the responses of the morning. I will ask for a moment of silence. We lost one of our veterans, uh, Mr. Dave Slusky, Mr. Teresa Pelton. Okay, thank you. We're going to have an unfinished business. In new business, I would like for the attorney standing for board to stand up. The standing for board to stand up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to say, no. um, 
And this is going to be in a two-part series, and the second part is not complete tonight, so it'll be completed in the next couple of days or so. But the, um, I mean, but the village officials and the people would like to congratulate you and your wife for a 15 year wedding anniversary. Oh, and again, so, I mean, here's this I wish I would have known I'd have my better half here. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't, really, I didn't really think about it like that. So, Just get to the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> hey, the other part won't be completed out there. Thank you very much. She'd like to say something you can. Uh, she's not here, I can probably say a lot of things, but, <laughs> but she's recording it and she'll see it later and I'm really in trouble. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations to the mayor and everything. I've, I've shared some things with this village ever since I became and before I became a lawyer. Uh, last year I celebrated my 50th anniversary of the license attorney in the building. Uh, state and uh, almost simultaneously the next day I started working as one of the prosecutors here and I celebrated 50 years here as a village uh, prosecutor and village attorney and then I got an award from the Illinois uh, Municipal Lawyers Association that I belong to it's uh, only one of two lawyers that have continuously represented one client for over 50 years. And it was a, a, a great distinction. And uh, now, uh, July 7th, I celebrated our, our wedding anniversary, 50 years, with uh, a wonderful lady that I fell in love with and had four children with. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just grows deeper every day. Mm -hmm. and then, so, uh, you know, uh, we made sacrifices, and you know, people talk about investments in the stock market, things like that. But we invested in four children. Right. So, uh, they all, I think, turned out pretty good. I'm very proud to work for this community. It's a, a wonderful community. Uh, it's changed over the years, but it's always, as the mayor has adopted, it's moving forward. It's progressing and it's going forward. And as long as you're willing to keep me, I'm willing to stay here and go forward with the policy. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. and we do have uh, tonight, actually, supposed to be our last meeting for some reason. That's unfortunately, you know, I've called for it back. But we do have a couple of things that's going to be kept in there. So we're going to have to try to get those done in August. And, uh, so we got blame last year. So, um, so we'll be, um, I don't know if it'll be the next meeting after that, but it will be sometime in August, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, um, so you're going to let us know? We'll get an email and we'll send you a date. It's like that. We'll probably send you an education message or something. Okay, so let's watch your email. Okay, so we don't have anything to do business. I'll have the moment to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Once I'm told by the person who played us that we have a question for the judge. Okay. Say my trustee comments. Okay. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Patches? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Peter? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. I have a motion to pass the meeting adjourned. Thank you. Did you have another question? Just wanted to ask. Who owned that house directly behind Because that's what I'm saying. Uh, directly behind me. I think that it's a vacant house. I think that's what the max house is. But I, I know that a lady was back there and she said they back now. But I haven't seen her. That's the yard I'll be going and cutting bushes and stuff now. So that's why I've seen the skunks coming from. That house will be the Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And uh, something else I want to say. It's the yard next to them, and they got 